The story of the most famous vampire in the entire world. It tells how he became a creature of the night. Infamous. Uh, this isn't your typical bloodsucker movie, though. Fox News' Sean Edwards explains in our chat with the stars. <laughs> Up-and-coming star Luke Evans stars in Dracula Untold as Vlad, a man who eventually becomes Dracula. I can't believe this, that the origins and the backstory of Dracula had never been told until now. Yeah, I know. Weird, right? Yeah, and totally weird, considering how many movies and stories and TV shows have been done about this guy. Well, that's Bram Stoker for you. I mean, he's the man who made this character famous in the first place, um, but it was uh, the story of Vlad Tepish or Vlad the Impaler that inspired him to write it in the first place. Sometimes the world doesn't need another hero. Sometimes what it needs is a monster. So you sort of know that it, he comes from a historical figure. Um, but that's about all I knew. Um, it wasn't until after I got the movie that I started to do my research and discover a, 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 a lot of different contrasting stories about a man who walked this earth in the 1400s, which is a very long time ago. Um, and it, very interesting. I mean, you know, the, his enemies rewrote the history books. So you have one story that says that he impaled 20,000 people, and you have another story that says he impaled four. I mean, still, a lot of people. Um, but yeah, a ruthless, a ruthless warrior, a very fair leader, um, and a loving husband and father. The Sultan is preparing for battle. <laughs> and requires 1,000 boys for his army, including your son. Now, how would you classify the movie? Because technically, it's not a straightforward horror pick. No. It's actually like a period piece with a lot of action and adventure thrown that's in the mix. That's about it. Yeah, that's exactly how I would describe it. I mean, it's, it has, it has a, rom a very strong romantic uh, core. There's a, a very powerful um, action uh, thread line, which is, you know, his character fighting constantly for his people. You have this very sort of fantastical transformation which you see of him um, drinking the blood of Charles Dance's character and then turning into this creature slowly fighting this addiction which he has. So it's a, there's a huge amount going on. Drink Dracula. Welcome to your life. So when you think back at all the guys that have played Dracula and all the movies out there that have portrayed this dude, what's one of your favorite actors as Dracula and one of your favorite Dracula-based movies? It would be Oldman in uh, Coppola's movie of uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula when he plays that creature who lives in that castle, um, that desperate, terrifying monster. Yeah, I think he did a brilliant job. Sean Edwards, Fox 4 News, working for UN, New York. So does Dracula suck? Find out tomorrow. You are the worst. Uh, Russ and Sean will uh, have some more in the screening room tomorrow. They'll review that movie and others. Well, it's B-Day every day for 